We turn now to a 13 Investigates follow-up. The father and son duo in Pueblo, charged with the felonious beating of a homeless man last fall, were just sentenced by a judge today. Investigative reporter Sean Rice first broke this story earlier this year. He joins us live in studio with this major update to the case. Sean? Yeah, Heather, Doug and Nate Collison were caught on camera violently restraining and beating Alex Montoya in front of Nick's Dairy Cream in Pueblo last September. After avoiding charges for over six months, they've now pleaded no contest, largely because they're being sued for their actions. But in the legal sense, it's equivalent to a guilty plea. Over a year after this assault, Nate Collison, an amateur mixed martial arts fighter, and his father, Doug Collison, a career member of law enforcement, were sentenced for their actions to one year on probation. Their actions first came under the microscope after this video was released by 13 Investigates. Their attorney, Joe Concilia, tells 13 Investigates their actions were justified because of what predicated the assault in front of Nick's Dairy Cream last fall, namely Montoya spitting on and hitting their family member, Maria Collison at a nearby elementary school. Understand in a perfect world, you know, people don't act uh, violently, but quite frankly, if you spit on my 51 year old mother and you knock her down, you're going to get a <laughs> kick. And I don't care what the law says. Because of a plea agreement offered by District Attorney Jeff Chosner's office, their felony charges were dropped in favor of misdemeanor charges. The elected DA tells 13 Investigates the plea agreement was offered because the Collisons have zero criminal history and Montoya's alleged actions against their wife and mother would have made it difficult to succeed at a potential trial. Nonetheless, Sean Conti, Alex Montoya's attorney, says the no contest pleas are a far stretch from justice in this case. I would have liked to have them admit why they believe they were guilty. I wanted to hear them utter those words. I would have also liked to see a longer length of probation. Anybody could behave for a period of 12 months. I think that a minimum of 24 months would have been more appropriate. Doug Collison, a volunteer SWAT medic for the Pueblo County Sheriff's Office, was fired because of his actions in this case. If the Collisons complete their probation sentence with no new violations of law, it will no longer be on their record. Reporting live in the studio, Sean Rice, 13 Investigates.